You want, sorry, you don't just want Charlotte Tilbury makeup on your face, you want the Charlotte Tilbury to do she your makeup. Not I don't think I've even had Charlotte Tilbury do. I, I haven't, I know what happened. <laughs> but yet yeah, you want. <laughs> Mum, like I said, start your YouTube channel, start praying. <laughs> Honey, I've got to watch my back with this one, you know. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new around here and today I'm going to show you how to create this look. It is a bronzed glam look with a pop of colour. My own take on January blues because I've got blue eyeshadow on today. So the products I'm using today are new products that I've never tried before, so that's gonna be interesting. And also I have used some oldies but goodies. So my favourite products from 2017. I'm also gonna be talking about some of my goals for 2018. I've got my mum hanging out here. So this is gonna be like a chatty get ready makeup video. All the products that I mentioned are going to be in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. So this is the gorgeous flower arrangement today that I got sent by Charlotte Tilbury in the letter E for my initial. So stunning. It's got my favourite flowers, ranunculus, roses, hydrangeas. It smells so good. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Part of my background today. This look was inspired by one of my favourite beauty YouTubers, Desi Perkins, and also my mum, who happened to remind me that she gave me some beauty tips oh, back in the day. Oh, to get some recognition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. <clears throat> Sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't, she's not paying me this video. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more beauty videos, whether tutorials, reviews, get ready with me, then please hit the thumbs up button, leave me some comments below. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. And yeah, let's jump into it. So today I'm going to use the Suku Luminous Treatment Primer. It also gets rid of redness, which is forever my struggle. I use this new Bobbi Brown foundation stick. And I'm very excited about this one. I really want a luminous but full coverage finish with my foundation. Oh, it blends really nicely. Oh, yes. I think it's quite sheer to be honest, but it does blend very well. I've got a few blemishes at the moment. So I'm looking out for a foundation that really helps cover that so I don't have to put too much concealer on. So how is your January going so far? I did genuinely have a case of the January blues and then I was like, snap out of it, Emma. <laughs> snap out of it. Yes, of course, Christmas parties have finished and like the excitement over New Year's is gone and passed. But at the same time, it's such a great time for change and opportunity. Make a plan, set out your goals for the year. So when I'm starting to feel, I'll be like, mm. I think of all the places I want to travel to, what I'm excited for, what I can plan, what improvements I want to make in my life or as a person, career goals, fitness goals, relationships. You know, that's the first round of foundation. I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. Impressed. Okay, so now we've got the base. I really want to just put a little bit of bronzer on. I'm still going to use my favorite brush. I really have loved how soft it is, it blends so well. And the bronzer I thought I would use this one from Galang. This is from their terracotta range that came out in the summer. It's kind of a peachy color, so I don't want something too dark because I definitely don't have dark skin right now. So I'm just doing that in the shape of a three, as ever. I take it under the jawline, just to add some shadow and definition, and then down the neck. Just added some much needed colour to my face. I'm going to use my new Bobbi Brown concealer. This one is in ivory, under the eye. So I'm just going to cover up some of my 
annoying little pimples that I have. I call them pimples, mom says you don't call them pimples, they're spots, Emma. <laughs> I know, pimples sounds like less dramatic. Spots like, <gasps> pimples like, we can get over it. <laughs> I have to think optimistically that there are only pimples and they'll go away soon. Okay, now I'm just gonna blot in that concealer. I really love how it really covers up the spot. It doesn't bring attention to them. It's not too light. It's like a nice warm color. Again, I just dab it in. Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> Considering I don't have the best skin right now, I think it's done a pretty good job at concealing and covering up, but also giving quite a luminous appearance to the skin. One of my favorite things for 2017 from Beauty and from eyeshadow palettes has got to be this Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. I use this religiously. Look at the colors. The choice of colors and the array is so fun. It's made me as a person <laughs> more experimental with my makeup and I haven't, I haven't seen a palette like it at all. Like usually you find palettes and they're like similar colors. Like these are completely different, contrasting colors, really cool, really fun. And I just love this palette and it's really pigmented the colors. I want like a burnty orangey red color for the transition shade. So, using my Sigma E38, and I do find like putting circular motions really helps blend it out, and you can never blend enough. I like to use a warm transition shade because the contrast is really nice with the blue. Go back in with my concealer. It's gonna be similar to a cut crease, but not really. I wanna put basically a base on just so that the shadow I'm gonna put on next is gonna pop. You can see I'm just cutting into, creating a line. Next, I'm going to use the Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in Last Dance. This is where it gets really exciting. I'm going to use my, this gorgeous blue colour. Ooh, looks good, looks good. Pigment in this eyeshadow is quite incredible. I love using a colour. I love that, so nice. So I found the silver that I wanted. It's looking a little bit busted. <laughs> it's from Kevin O'Quan. That shows you how much I love it and use it. So this one is in 204 Golden Frosted. So I'm just gonna go over that with the silver. This is the MAC Primer. I just put that over the top. This is gonna fix the reflex glitter that's going on next. This is a reflex glitter from MAC. You have to be so careful with glitter so it can go everywhere. And what I do is I really just dab. Dab until you secure it onto the eyelid. I would definitely say the Reflex Glitter from MAC is one of my favorite products of 2017. Not necessarily because I use it all the time, but because when I do, you know it's on. <laughs> We're going out. <laughs> you can build it up as much as you want. It really brings to life any color that you have underneath. Ooh, ooh, yes. Yes! Oh my god, I love this. Like, you know when you're looking at eyeshadow and you're like, mmm, I like it? And then you put the reflex on and you're like, damn girl, <laughs> this is so good, look at that. I will blend it out better when I put the highlighter under the brow bone. Thank you for my tea, mum. Okay. I know, but when mum makes tea, it tastes so much better. <laughs> Yeah, so That's I true. A, treat and a, cup of tea instead. a real treat. Um, <laughs> no, it's true. Actually, one of my, I guess, one of my um, other kind of goals for 2018 is to drink a little bit less coffee, especially late at night. Reduce your coffee intake. Yeah, reduce coffee intake. Walk more. I need to walk more because I'm just. It's just too easy to use Uber or you know, and I just need to walk more. What's the other thing we said, Mum? You've got to overcome that fear of... Oh yes. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but I have a fear of the underground. Genuine fear. I think you need to talk a little bit more about that one day. Okay, day. maybe I'll save that for another video. But yeah, I said to mom, she's going to help me overcome this fear. And anyway, I feel like any time that I am going to go on the underground, that something's going to happen. I had a really bad experience one time where there was a bomb scare. I had to get evacuated. So ever since then, I've been like, can't go on the underground. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try and face that fear because it really makes life so much easier going on the tube when you need to get to different parts of London quickly. Okay, 
Was there anything else for 2018? I did have, I have a whole set of goals written down, but those were the ones like I could think of off the top of my head. So the new mascara I'm gonna use is this one by Victoria Beckham. Ooh, this looks interesting. Really thin wand, number one blackest. Definitely extends the lashes. And I feel like it really packs on the product to the lash. I like that. Considering I didn't curl the lashes, because I'm gonna put falsies on, I'm very impressed with that. The lashes I'm going to go for are the Samantha lashes. Now these are their best seller. And when you tell me they're your best seller, yeah, I'm not sure I've got to get them. <laughs> lashes, they do look quite strong. They're the ones that actually Huda has on her eyes in all the packaging. So I thought, let's try it. I was just test what they look like on the eye first. Because if they look too much, then they're not going on. <laughs> I think they're gonna look good. I got a good feeling about these ones. So I'm just gonna use some simple duo glue. This one is in black. Just gonna put the glue onto the lash. The lashes are now on, I really love them. The Huda Beauty have a thicker band than the MAC, um, which takes a little bit getting used to, but I really love the effect. So nice and fluttery. This is my very favorite brush for under the eyes. It's really thin. It's really good also for smoking out an eyeliner. Uh, it's just really precise. So I'm just gonna use that bronzer again. Just taking it underneath the other side. Mm. Thank you. Mom approves. It's really similar. They both got that gorgeous turquoisey blue. Could have almost done this look with that palette. Well, we're testing out today, so <laughs> I'm learning. I'm just gonna bring this blue now under the eye. I'm gonna clean out the fallout using my Bobbi Brown concealer. This one is in ivory. Really love this concealer for brightening up under the eyes as well. That powder I'm gonna be using today, it's the one by Rodial. It's called banana powder. Interested in trying this one out. Using my Sigma F37 brush. I was a little bit worried that this was like a yellowy color. It's not coming out yellow on my skin, which is good. <laughs> so for the contour, I'm gonna go back in with my palette and to use my angled brush for this. This is one from Space and K. Kind of really adds the shadow where I want it. For highlight, I'm gonna use my, this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Spotlight Highlighter. As soon as you put it on, it's like light beams on your face. <laughs> Maybe you look like a glazed donut, <laughs> no, in a good way. So there, and then I bring it up. And then just down the middle on the Cupid's bow underneath, and that's it. And I just use my finger to blend. Now onto the eyebrows. I'm going to be using this Blink Brow Indian Chocolate. It's one of my favorites because the color is really similar to my eyebrow. I think some browns look a little bit like orangey when I put them onto my skin. I don't want that. So I really like the undertones in this color. And it stays put and it looks really natural. Like I like to go for a bushy eyebrow look where the brows look really natural as opposed to going for something drawn on where it looks too perfect. So using a spoolie, I just brush up just to see where the little gaps are. I recently had my eyebrows tinted, which makes a big difference. When I have them tinted, shaped, and threaded, it makes this job so much easier. And that's it, just where I see the strays. I'm kind of feeling now that I would like a coffee rather than a tea. I can make you a coffee if you like. Really? <laughs> my favorite product of 2017 for the eyebrows is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this wand, okay, brace yourself. Brace yourself for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you laugh. <laughs> oh, this is very serious stuff. Watch this, okay, look at this brow brush. It is tiny. It's the smallest brow brush I've ever seen. And you know why it's so good? Because it picks up every strand of your hair and colors it and fixes it in place. I'll show you for comparison. So this one is the MAC one. 
Now I still really love the MAC one, it's completely different though, it's a translucent one, so it doesn't add any colour. But you can see the difference. Wow. <laughs> you can't even see anything, Mum. Why are you saying wow? Well? Yeah. All of a sudden she's had a nap and now she's wide awake and wants to say wow. Well. <laughs> now you want to get involved at the end. <laughs> okay, so the one on the left is the MAC and the one on the right is the Charlotte Tilbury one. Yeah, but they do different things, so some days like I would like to use a translucent one, but then other days I really want to get colour and I want to get like every little strand. So I'm just going to pull up every strand because the effect is to, for the eyebrows to look like eyebrows. You just see the hairs, I bring these forward almost like that way. You can see just how it's grabbing each hair making sure it's fixed in place. In the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the compact powder, just to really set the makeup. And also because I've run out of my Urban Decay setting spray. Tragic, I'm trying to get through that. I need to pick up a new one. Um, but the powder will have to do for now. To finish off the eyes, I want to use a black eyeliner. I want to use the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner because I've never used it and I really want to try what it's like. New, new, new. This is the Marc Jacobs black eyeliner in black hair. I like the way the eyeliner is not moving as well. It's staying put. It's really pigmented, it just glides on so nicely. I like that a lot. I had put a little bit of lip balm on my lips before we started, so now I'm gonna just really put on the color that I want to, and that is more of a nude color for this look with a little bit of gloss. So it's from the amazing Charlotte Tilbury collection. I got this at Christmas, and I showed it to you in a lip masterclass, and it's three expert lip looks inspired by the three iconic cities, New York, London, and Shanghai. I'm gonna go for is the the perfect English beauty lip. I'm just gonna line the lips first, and this is with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, one of her best sellers, and I can't swear by this enough. For sure, this makes my 2017 uh, favorites list because it's just nothing compares with it. I find nudes are tricky um, because they can wash your lips out, but when you use Pillow Talk, it gives enough definition to really bring out the lip shape make them look more plump and it's really natural. You can also double up as a lipstick because you can bring it right into the lip and just put lip balm over the top. Then I'm going to use the English Beauty lipstick. Then I'm gonna put the lip gloss over the top. This one is the Seduction. First time trying out this triple threat <laughs> with the Pillow Talk the English Beauty and Seduction, and I think it's incredible. I think it makes such a difference. I would never usually do all three together, but I'm really glad I did, because often when I go for a matte lipstick, I'm going for matte and I'm sticking with matte, but I like the way that I've used a matte lipstick, so I've got that intensity of color, but then I've got the gloss over the top, and just obviously gloss gives a really lip plumping effect, and. Yeah, I think matte can be quite drying with the gloss. You don't get that problem. So now with my makeup done like this, I'm thinking I should go out. What do you think, mum? Good idea. Should we go out for a drink? Yeah, it's not coming. <laughs> I might take my mum plumbing with this look, yeah. you know? <laughs> that should be the title. <laughs> I'm taking my mum clubbing. Yeah, it's my new, with my... new resolutions. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off with this Tom Ford Noir perfume because it's one of my favorites. I've talked about it before. I take it everywhere with me. It's really lasted me so long. This bottle is huge. <laughs> and it's one of these sprays because it's quite um, strong. Um, it's an oriental sensual fragrance. Um, it, it lasts, so you don't have to keep reapplying. And I've worn it at night, and the next morning I can still smell it for my skin. So this is my signature scent at the moment, the Tom Ford Noir. Yeah, I'm just going to show you this look. I hope that you 
you liked this look. Hope that you'll try it out. If you do, then send me a picture, snap me, tweet me, send it by Instagram. I'd love to see what looks you come up with and if you try out any of these products too. If you wanna see more beauty videos, whether they're tutorials, get ready with me, or maybe you have some other video suggestions, then let me know in the comments, because I love hearing from you. I also try to get back to as many of the comments as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, oh, looks like I'm naked. <laughs> Mom says it'd be nice to choose something nice and soft. <laughs> I'm listening to Cardi B. Yes, I love makeup. I think it looks really, really creative and interesting. And creative and interesting. And I like how the blue sort of accentuates your beautiful blue eyes. Oh, thank you, Mum. Tell us what you really think now. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. I, love <laughs> I was joking. She's like, okay, let's have a look. <laughs> let's get some really constructive criticism. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll hear it.